Hi everyone, this is Tim Bryce with the National Weather Service in El Paso. For this Weather Basics video, we'll be talking about hurricanes, the greatest storm on Earth. For centuries, hurricanes have fascinated humankind. Hurricane reports date back over 500 years to 1495, when Columbus encountered a tropical system on one of his trips to the New World. And then there was the Great Hurricane of 1780, which claimed over 22,000 lives in the Caribbean, including the British and French navies. But hurricanes don't just occur in the Atlantic Ocean. They occur all around the world. But they're not called hurricanes all around the world. In the Western Pacific, around the Philippines and Japan, they're called typhoons. And in the Indian Ocean, they're called cyclones. But my favorite is off the western coast of Australia, where these storms are called Willy Willies. Now, no matter where you are in the world, every hurricane needs a large body of warm water for fuel. Just like you or I need food to fuel our bodies, a hurricane needs that warm water to help fuel itself. If you or I don't eat for several days, we get weaker and weaker. And a hurricane is in the same way. If the hurricane gets cut off from the warm water, it too will slowly weaken. This warm, moist air rises and condenses into not one, but hundreds of thunderstorms. It's all these hundreds of thunderstorms that form the structure of a hurricane. The anatomy of a hurricane is made up of three distinct features, the eye, the eye wall, and the spiral bands. The eye doesn't help the hurricane to see, but it is a clear spot in the center of the hurricane. You might think the eye is where you would see the strongest wind, but actually it's where you see nearly calm winds. It's in the eye wall that rings the eye of the hurricane where you see the strongest winds. Further out from the eye wall are the spiral bands. Imagine a hurricane as a spinning pinwheel. The spinning arms of the pinwheel are very similar to the spiral bands of a hurricane which slowly rotate around the storm as it moves. Finally, whenever we talk about hurricanes, people always ask why are the winds calm in the center of a hurricane? The eye is so calm because the now strong surface winds that converge towards the center never reach it. If you've watched our Weather Basics video on low and high pressure, you'll remember that in an area of low pressure, the air moves towards the center of the low, but because of the spin of the earth, it is deflected slightly away from the center, causing the winds to rotate around the center of the low. A hurricane is a large area of low pressure where the strongest winds are found in the eye wall, but in the eye, the winds are actually very light. Thanks for joining me for today's Weather Basics on Hurricanes. For more information and resources on hurricanes, be sure to jump on over to the Weather Basics website, which is linked below. Have a great day.